Welcome to the introduction, The Joy of Making. This is a journey into the heart of creativity and the simple pleasures it brings. Making things is good for you. It's a therapeutic process that can lift your spirits and calm your mind. It makes you happy. It makes you feel alive. The act of creation is a powerful way to connect with yourself and the world around you. It's a way to bring beauty into the world, and anyone can do it. No matter your skill level, the joy of making is accessible to all. You don't need to be a professional artist. You don't need fancy tools or a fancy studio. Just a bit of creativity and the willingness to try. All you need is a little bit of time, a little bit of space, and a willingness to experiment. The possibilities are endless when you let your imagination run wild. One of the easiest and most rewarding ways to start making is to create your own posters. It's a fun project that anyone can enjoy. Posters are a great way to personalize your space, express your creativity, and add a splash of color to your walls. They can transform any room into a vibrant, lively space. Plus, they're relatively inexpensive and easy to make. You can use materials you already have at home. In this essay, I'm going to walk you through the process of making your own posters from start to finish. We'll cover everything you need to know. I'll share some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way, and I'll show you how to create posters that you'll be proud to hang on your walls. Your creativity will shine through each piece. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Dive into the world of making and discover the joy it brings. Now, let's dive into finding your spark inspiration and themes. The first step to creating a great poster is to find your inspiration. This is the foundation upon which your entire project will be built. What are you passionate about? What makes you happy? Think about the things that bring you joy and excitement. What do you want to say to the world? Your message can be as bold or as subtle as you like. Once you have a general idea, start brainstorming specific themes. Jot down every thought, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem. For example, if you're passionate about music, you could create a poster about your favorite band, capturing their essence and energy, a music festival you attended, filled with vibrant memories and experiences, or the power of music to bring people together, transcending boundaries and uniting hearts. Don't be afraid to get creative. Experiment with different materials and techniques. The best posters are often the ones that are the most personal and unique. Look around you. What catches your eye? Inspiration can come from the most unexpected places. Maybe it's a cool pattern on your clothes, something that stands out and speaks to you, a quote from your favorite book, words that resonate deeply with you, or a beautiful flower in your garden. Inspiration is everywhere. You just need to open your eyes and mind to see it. The important thing is to choose a theme that you're excited about. Your enthusiasm will shine through in your work. The more excited you are about your theme, the more fun you'll have creating your poster, and the more proud you'll be of the finished product. So let your passion guide you and create something truly special. Moving on to gathering your tools materials for poster making. Now that you have a theme, it's time to gather your materials. The good news is that you don't need a lot of fancy or expensive supplies to make a great poster. In fact, you can probably find most of what you need around your house. Here are a few basic materials that every poster maker needs. Paper or poster board, pencils and erasers, markers, crayons, colored pencils or paint, scissors and glue, and a ruler or straight edge. These are your tools for adding color and life to your poster. Choose whatever mediums you're most comfortable with and that will allow you to achieve the look you're going for. Don't be afraid to experiment with different materials. You can use anything you can get your hands on to create your poster. The more creative you are with your materials, the more unique and interesting your poster will be. Lastly, let's discuss from idea to sketch, the first steps. You have your theme, you have your materials, and now it's time to start bringing your vision to life. This is where the magic begins, where your ideas start to take shape and form. The first step is to sketch out your ideas on paper. This initial sketch is crucial as it lays the foundation for your entire project. Don't worry about making it perfect at this stage, just let your creativity flow and have fun. This is your chance to explore different concepts and see what resonates with you. Think about the message you want to convey with your poster. What is the core idea or emotion you want to communicate to your audience? What kind of imagery will best communicate that message? Consider the tone and mood you want to set. Do you want to use bold colors and graphics, or something more subtle and understated? Each choice will impact how your message is received. 
Experiment with different layouts and compositions. Play around with the placement of elements to see what works best. Try arranging the elements of your poster in different ways until you find something that you like. This process can be very iterative, so take your time. Once you have a general idea of what you want your poster to look like, you can start to refine your sketch. Add more details and start thinking about the finer points of your design. Add details, experiment with different color schemes, and play around with different fonts. The choice of font can dramatically change the feel of your poster. This is the stage where you can really let your creativity run wild. Don't hold back. Explore all the possibilities. There are no wrong answers here, so don't be afraid to experiment and make mistakes. Each mistake is a learning opportunity. The more you experiment, the better your poster will be. Continuous experimentation leads to unexpected and often brilliant results. Remember, this is just a sketch. You can always erase and redraw. Nothing is set in stone at this point. The goal is to have fun and explore different possibilities before you commit to a final design. Enjoy the process and let your imagination guide you.